Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, 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 sex. Why the basics always matter. Man, critical. Buy me some time. I got to pull they're, the tweet up. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're called the basics for a reason. If you Because it's kind of like math. They build on each other. If you don't get the basics, you are not going to get the rest of the, the higher end concepts. Period. Exactly. That That is it. I mean, you're never going to fuck the girl if you fuck up parking at the restaurant. Right. It, I know it sounds crazy, but that's like this. A lot of these things are covered in my book, uh, Build Your Dating System. Yeah. And then sometimes I forget about how much we've written. <laughs> and it's then, true. And we take things for granted. And yeah. sometimes you forget about what the basics are. And a girl tweeted... Um, she goes, the most common reason I hear from women on why they don't want a second date with a man is he didn't make her feel like a woman mm -hmm. and instead forced her into playing a masculine role, which means making decisions. Yeah. Here are some of the stories I've heard in the past couple weeks. This is good. And I read through these and I was like, we cover all this. You yeah. Know, you should we know cover this. all of this in the yeah. in Build Your Dating System. So if you've read that book, you can go on and skip this one and go to another podcast. Or reread re it. Reread it because the and basics just, matter. And these stories are things that we hear from our clients. Yes. Women that what they're experiencing out on the ground too. But you don't realize how common it is. It's prevalent. Driving her around a parking lot for 20 minutes, passing a valet sign multiple times until she says, maybe we should just valet. He says, yeah, maybe, and continues to drive around another 10 minutes before she suggests just using the valet again. He says, and he says yeah, okay. Guys are incredibly cheap. And this is a great example also of not being cheap on dates, which is a whole other topic. But, like, just go to the fucking valet. Just go to the, but this is part of planning too. Yes. This is why when you go out on dates, and I don't recommend going to a restaurant on a first date anyway, but, but know the parking situation. Yeah. And I know this from going, everything I put in that book, I had fucked up at some point. Sure. Going downtown, <laughs> you're unfamiliar with it. Yeah. Parking's different than in the suburbs where there's 5,000 parking spots in front right. of the Chili's. Right. And. You're a valet. Well, how much is it? Is it fifty? Is it a hundred dollars? You know, literally, you don't know you don't what know. the valet is going to be. You don't it know could what be the ten or it could be a hundred dollars. Yeah, or, or does it even exist? Or where do I park? Yeah. And again, now you're not focusing on her. Yeah. And you look stupid. The man drove around for thirty minutes. That's pretty ridiculous. You know, if you have a reservation, it might be gone. Yeah. You know, but this doesn't sound like somebody would have who would have a reservation. But it, no, he probably they probably got inside yeah. and he didn't even have a reservation right. because a place with valet takes reservations. Yeah, it's a two hour wait. It's just know the parking situation. Yes. No matter where, and if they call ahead, go, do you guys have valet? Don't be, the valet allows her, one, she's in heels. Yeah. She doesn't want to walk three city blocks. No. So you could like find like a free parking spot. <laughs> she's not, it's, and if you're in Texas in the summer, <sighs> it's 140 degrees and you see girls walking into places melting. It's miserable. Because they hiked in. Yeah. So use a valet. She can feel like a princess. Yeah. And it's an extra 10 or 20 bucks. It's well worth it. Always. And always she worth thinks it. so much more highly of you. And it's not the money that you spent. It's the fact that you have a plan. Yeah. This, this is a thing. I mean, a lot of like your dating system yeah. is you're just taking away all the problems, you know, that are going to, that could arise because you're planning ahead. Let me know? ask you a question before we move on. Let me ask you a question about the parking thing. If. We're in the city. We're in a city where we aren't, you, you know, we don't live in the city. We're traveling to the city for this meetup. If they have valet, but you don't necessarily want to use it. I mean, because sometimes it can get a little costly. And you're like, that's, what do you think of, but the, but the nearest parking garage is two or three blocks away. What do you think of dropping her at the door, parking and meeting her? That back? works. That works. It's a little... If, I mean, you, I would couch it in, I'm going to drop you off because the parking is so damn far. Yeah. You just go in, if you want to tell them the name, because there's a reservation. Yeah. And I'll be there within five or six minutes. Right. That, 
I've never done it, but I've never had to. But I think it would be, I think I would think highly of that. Yeah. Not, and it has nothing, and you don't even have a reference if there's valet or not. Yeah. You know, because then it's like, I don't want you to have to walk two blocks in those, in those, and fuck up your feet or, you know, however yeah. you want to put it. <laughs> you probably don't say fuck up your feet on the first few moments of your date. But it, it sets it up like, I, I know the situation. I don't want to expose you to it. I want you to go in and be comfortable. Yeah. And I'll be right there. Yeah. Exactly. Or just give her a credit your credit card and say, you know, open a tab. You know, just just go. I would make it easy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um that's a good alternative, it especially is, yeah. for the guys that are like on a budget and that's Yeah. Fine. Cause I don't I don't pretend that everyone, you know, listening has, you know, the money for the for the very sliding scale that is valet parking. Even things as small and these are the little things that I've put out there before, like Yeah know what you want to eat or like just take a look at the menu exactly. make a decision and then close it and she can take as long as she wants yeah it's completely up to her you know the guy the girl says the waiter arrived at the table for the third time third time and he uh, hadn't decided what he wants and the guy mumbled what do you think i should get oh my he's gosh. asking her to her because he couldn't choose his own dinner oh lord Men who can't make decisions oh, turn women off. God, I mean, nothing sexy about that. It's little things like this that guys go, I'm not getting laid. Yeah, you think? I spent $200 on dinner and drinks, and she just wanted to go home. Yeah. I mean, it's little things like this that kill men. Oh, it's a total vibe kill. And it, and it, oh. I know it sounds crazy, but it's little things like this that could save you, too. Yeah. You just look, you know, then you're, you know what to do. Yeah. You know? You just or literally, I mean, if you know that you are a little bit more particular, if you're on a specific, you know, meal plan or whatever, look at the menu. It's even on like the map apps anymore. The menus for restaurants are even on Google Maps or whatever you use. You know, it's not hard to find the menu online. So if you are one who is particular, I suggest, we suggest looking at the menu way ahead of time, knowing what you want, and just going for it. If you are not very particular, the very best thing that you can do is say, I, I, I'll eat anything but artichokes or whatever. You know, whatever, whatever the chef should suggest for me, I'm sure it's amazing. And literally never even open the menu. No. I mean, Perfect. that's... You're going to get a little bit more expensive dish, but that's, it's decisive. It's, I'm, I'm not high maintenance. I'm not an asshole. Yeah. I trust professionals to do their professional job. You know, every single time, and I, I do this a lot because I really am not particular about food. Um, and I really enjoy it. And there's, I've, I have had some of the most <laughs> mind blowing dishes just going, what do you suggest? Exactly. They know. They know. They know. Even, if, even if they've not ever eaten it, they know what they're being told to tell you. And that doesn't matter. It's still going to be exceptional. And it gets you past that immediate first hump of that decision. And again, like for we're saying, she might take the you know 30 minutes and it might be driving you crazy, but it wasn't you. Exactly. And she won't hold that against you either. No. You know, no. it's not a shit test if she takes 20 minutes to figure out what she wants to eat. It's okay. Yeah. You know, you got her to the restaurant. Well, and here's here's the thing from a female perspective, what women are doing. They, depending on the kind of girl they are, they're weighing the price. They're weighing what it looks like if they choose that. They're weighing, is this healthy? Is this not? How, you know... What will I actually eat? Will it make me feel good? Well, I if we fuck after this, will I feel? Will it be sloshing? Will or I it? spill it on myself? Yeah, I mean, is it messy to eat? Girls are thinking of eight million things while looking at that menu, and so on those initial, you know, first date or two or three, we're going to be a lot. We're going to be slower in picking, probably. Yeah, and you'll get to know her, you know, over time. Yeah, you know, by the third or fourth date, you guys kind of like. It's a little bit more relaxed. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Um, third tweet. Him not looking before he went to step 
<laughs> out into the across the road and her having to hold him back on the sidewalk like a child because he was going to get hit by a cyclist. Situation awareness. God. You're responsible for yourself and her on a date. Yeah. You put yourself between her and the road. You put yourself between her and homeless people. You put her you put yourself between her and any weirdness going on. Right. Wherever you're at, you know, and or you tell her run. Yeah. You know, so, you know, her having to keep an eye on him. Jeez. It literally, I can imagine at that moment, she goes, yeah, I'm not fucking this guy. No. You know, she has to put her arm, you know, like the three-year-old that she has at home. Yeah. From stepping into traffic. Gra- grab his arm, pull yeah. him back, you know, whatever. It means he's not aware of what's going on around him, and that means both of them are in danger. That's right. You know. Clearly. A lot of this stuff is hardwired to like, can I trust this guy to keep me secure? It's true. You know. Um, and this is the, this is the, the <laughs> top of the line because we've heard women tell us this and this should not be happening to anyone that ever listens to this podcast. No. Picking her up and saying, so what do you want to do? Oh my gosh. And offering no suggestion, leaving her to problem solve the entire date while he shut down her suggestions. Oh my gosh. Can you yeah. imagine? We have, we have so many female personal training clients who have experienced this. So I don't think the people listening to this podcast necessarily do it, but there are a lot of guys who are. They literally are getting all the way to the picking up, picking her up for the date and not knowing what they're doing. It's crazy. I mean, that's why you have a plan. Yeah. And the good thing is, once you kind of have a plan that works, you can reuse that plan with other girls. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, and even if, even if, um, you know, even if you're not one who waits until she's in the car already dressed for whatever date that she thinks she's going on, you know, and then you hit her with, well, what do you want to do? You know, and, and I can hear it, especially with like the college age guys or younger guys. It's like, so, you know, it's more like, Hey, you want to do something on Thursday? Yeah. Okay, I'll pick you up. So what do you want to do? That's as far as he got. But with adult men, let's say, you know, you need to, there are a lot of guys that are still going, you know, you want to go to dinner on Thursday night? Yes, I do. I'd love to go to dinner with you on Thursday night. Okay, where do you want to go? What? And we've had female clients who have had to make the reserve, decide where they're going make the reservation. I mean, all of it. Yeah. All of it. And And it's it's the majority. And that's where you said girls want an experience. Yeah. And it doesn't take any more energy or money to give her an experience than it does to give her a bad time. Yeah. You know, I mean, none of this. And you're going to have a better time too. Yeah. Because you're going to feel like the king, uh, you know, the king bee of, of all of this. Well, and, it allows you to like focus in on talking to her. Yeah. Listening, telling jokes, Leading telling her stories. Sex. Yeah. Cause that's the reason you go on a date. Yeah. Is to end up in bed. It's true. Or on or on a car car hood. Or somewhere <laughs> but having sex. You know, it doesn't matter really where. But that's what makes sex a, a date different than going out with your friends. Yeah. You know? It's true. It's it's supposed to end in sex. And um We'll we'll go over the last one because this is, I mean, there's like five more. They met up at a bar and were walking back to their cars, but he was parked closer to the door. He said goodnight at his car and then let her walk across the parking lot oh, in the dark by herself. no. Again, and I, I tweeted this yesterday. You're responsible for her until she walks out your front door. You put her in her car. Yeah. Or you put her into an Uber. Yeah. That you're, but you're responsible for. Yeah. Until that moment. Man. You know, that's cold-blooded. That makes you feel incredibly vulnerable. Yeah. As a woman. That's that's an uncomfortable feeling. I yeah. mean, and that's true. Like, we're in, we're in like a high-rise building. And so we have elevators or, you know, stairs. But, you know, on dates, you would walk her all the way. I mean, and it's a maze, you know. If oh, yeah, first, you can't get out of this building. No. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a maze so they can find the elevator. You take them down in the elevator. You take them to their car. It gives you an opportunity to give them one last 
hot kiss to remember you by, and then you sit, you know, slap them on the ass and send them on their way. But there's no way that you should be even letting a girl walk across a dark parking lot alone. No. That is incredibly unsafe. You're still responsible for, it. you know, there's, there's no reason to say text me when you get home. No. There's none of that, but just putting her into her car, making sure the door shuts and she's driving away. Yeah. Your job is done. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All of this is in build your dating system. Yes. And it's also in, um, in the bundle where we have like fast start bundle. Yes. The dating fast start bundle, which takes you from like how to online date, which is awesome. Um, all the way through the date to the, how to fuck like a porn star. Yeah. We kind of cover every, all the big, all the big, um, it's true. Mountain peaks that are required. But again, this is where guys go, I don't know what went wrong. Uh huh. And they truly don't. And a lot of times it's they're fucking up the basics. Yeah. They're, they don't know the basics or they don't care. So hopefully you care enough to get it right. I think they think that the basics don't matter as much as they do. That's very interesting. I think that guys are bad about underestimating the value of knowing where you're parking. Sure. Or the value of having a plan for the date. Or the value of knowing that if if you have a plan A, plan B, plan C, because inevitably things will go wrong, that you're ready. And it all, it pays off. It pays and off. And again, all the planning you do can be reused. Absolutely. It's the best thing. It's like, you're like, God, I I'll have to do this for every date. No, you can reuse it. Yeah. You can use it with the next girl. Exactly. You know? So if you like this. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. We want you to win. Bye.